Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. It's great to see so many people here again. Uh, it's Thursday, and we are going to start with our today's presentation about the technology. And since we had a, well, quite a great gathering here in Estonia just recently this uh, this weekend then I have some uh, some new news as well to share with you and as I promised today I will show you the video uh, which I made um, about uh, three weeks ago in Sacha uh, in our demonstration center well actually I drove by it and therefore I got the chance to to witness all this let's say this uh, development with my own eyes I drove by the well next to it it's, it's a highway and then next to the highway there is this our demonstration certification center which is called innovation center in Sarja and I, I yes I had the chance to to make a video of it so soon I will hear but well, I I didn't ask this at first. Is it? Uh, can you hear me well and see me well? Just for for my confirmation. Let's see if you have shared. Yes, Vlad answered yes perfectly. All right, great, very nice. So, but all right, let's continue. So, a little bit about myself. My name is Michael. I'm from Estonia, and I have uh, been an investor in the project about about uh, four and more years by now so quite a long time and I have these last years I have been presenting the webinars both in English and in Estonian language and I'm, I'm very grateful for for the chance and I'm grateful that still people are our new people are coming here uh, listening to my webinars because well I'm each time I'm sharing something new to you but the main focus is the same. We, we talk mostly about the technology. We talk about Skyway, about uh, about the reasons why Skyway is here to stay, why it's so revolutionary technology and what are the benefits for us. So these are all very important facts. All right, I took a choose here as well when, when the throat gets thirsty. But all right, let's continue. So, um, yes, this picture on the slide at the moment is made in Sarja, not by me, but by the company itself. And it was posted uh, quite recently. And they said the completion of track uh, structure lifting stage is basically finished. And now I will show you the video and I can confirm that it is as they have said and it is finished and it's uh, 2.4 kilometers long and I got it all on video so let's see how the well the network here works uh, with the video but I hope it works well and then and, uh, and you will get the glimpse of it but anyhow I will uh, also talk a little I talk a little during the video so you so you would understand where I am what what we are seeing and so on all right let's see I will try to now share with you my entire screen open the video so here it is so basically here we are starting this is the circle roundabout it's next to the Sarge University so I will take this down and uh, here you can see the, the buildings, the constructions, the innovation center main complexes. At first I will pause just a little and there behind the wall on the background, well not on the background but in, in the front, in the front end, now, well now you see here are the tracks. The, on the right side, the first one is go a little bit back. That one is the uh, depot called for container terminal depot station. 
which we also talked uh, previous webinar mm, and then it was under construction you saw all this um, well construction elements there and the facade was not ready yet but now you can see how beautiful it is at the moment so it's also finished and here you can see the cargo and passenger terminal so basically here we will start um, developing and testing new um, passenger and cargo um, well, uh, models and here we start with a uh, road it's 2.5 kilometers uh, long so as you can see it's basically um, well the the lifting is completed as you can see it, it's all raised above to the second level the first track here the track number two actually and the track number four uh, on the behind there you can see the supports of the track number four so basically those supports um, and they are planted or, or implemented well mm, not that um, far from each other and that's mainly because because uh, that track behind there it's meant for heavier uh, heavier models for 50 tons and more models which weigh 50 tons and more so that's why those supports need to be in a much shorter range than here in the picture as you can see the the track structure which is uh, which has well which track is lifted already to the well and is placed it is basically fully constructed so yeah and this one goes on for two and a half minutes more so just imagine how how far it is or, or how, how long it is this track structure and you can see here on this slide it perfectly just a little bit more there are cranes behind there completing the work and then it's just brilliant it's just an amazing how fast they have managed to place the supports to lift the tracks and behind you can see also the supports which yet do not have the track structure implemented on but uh, the work goes on constantly so there will be these uh, sea containers behind there you can see on the screen where there are only supports when the track structure is uh, placed then there will be tested the sea containers and then um, the, the passenger transportation models which weigh more than 50 tons uh, kilograms 50,000 kilograms but yeah just a little bit more you can see the cranes here so it's, it's a very long and wide range transportation system here here you can see the eco eco house on the right side covered fully with uh, greenery it's just brilliant it will be very amazing uh, when we have all these supports implemented and placed and when we have these track structures fully operating so right here it was now let's get back to the main part all right i hope you enjoyed this short video i made and and i had uh, yes since i had the chance and i was there in dubai so i i decided that uh, it's good to rent a car and and drove by and see what has been done so far so here it was but let's continue and what uh, the container depot at the Sarge testing center will look like as you can see here in front of you we already saw the container depot which was at, uh, at the beginning it was well behind the first uh, building the first station and the container depot or not only container depot but when we have this um, for example unicars unibuses which take passengers human beings from one point to another then those models also have depot stations because the depot stations 
well, are they're like stations, but but people or passengers normally do not go there. And why? Because that's that place or that station is meant for, for example, for recharging the models because we are going fully on electricity, so we have our own batteries, our own motor wheels. Mm, then we need charging. The batteries needs to be charged. And then the other point is we need maintenance and uh, and we need to park somewhere because we are fully autonomous uh, system. So when basically there is a rush hour in a specific moment in the morning, for example, and in the evening, and more models are needed at that time on the track structure to serve people or, or serve goods, then then the depot stations are basically stations where these extra models are hibernating at the time and when they are called to a track, sh track, sh track structure or when it's needed then they will start coming from the depot station to the main row, uh, main track structure and start serving people or goods and whenever again the rush hour for example is over the need for more models on the track structure is uh, not necessary or is not there then those models can go back to the station uh, to the depot station all right here are also some pictures small and now these rails how they were installed i should just show you some pictures how those rails which i showed you in the video uh, which i made uh, recently in sarja how they were placed as you can see they are quite big quite massive uh, so the the cranes are absolutely necessary to place them and uh, and it's just brilliant just think about it it's 2.4 kilometers long track structure so it's not that easy at first but of course when we have this all these systems we have these brilliant minds behind our project then it has been made so easy for for workers to do that and also successful certification of intermediate support for fourth track test track is completed that's also a great sign and uh, the certifications are needed to show that we are on the right track we well comprehend with all the norms and standards and then we have done everything according to the law according to the uh, standards that are in specific region all right part two so welcome to the new age that's absolutely right title because skyway is 21st century technology this is pre-stressed string technology which is lifted to the second level so therefore there are many 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 um, plus sides uh, comparing with other technologies that uh, are well developed today and I will tell you more about it uh, well now so let's see now why skyway we have seven main reasons why skyway is here to stay and first of all of course it is innovative never before in the human history has somebody done uh, something like this because it's absolutely new way to um, install elements or use different materials and then uh, make them such completion like it is today so therefore it is it is absolutely innovative native technology so we have our own motor wheel we have derailment system and well comparing with one of the most popular second level technologies we have is the cable car then cable cars have this engines or this engine one engine usually per track which is in well in the beginning or in the end of the track structure and that spins basically that engine makes makes a big uh, wheel spin and that wheel uh, pulls the string so the string moves not the cable cars themselves but we have our own motor wheels we have our own derailment system so basically the track structures as you as I, as I showed you before stays at the same place constantly when it's lifted and it can last up to 100 years as well so therefore it's it's very long lasting and um, 
and the models on the track structure move not only on the track structure but also under the track structure so that's also important to notice as here you can see so at the moment on this picture unibus is under the track structure so on the hanging side or on the hanging mode mm, but it's possible for example that on the on the track structure above side so basically you said there will be for example the express line our high speed model which goes up to 500 kilometers per hour and underneath in the hanging mode there's this unibus what's also here presented on this slide and that one goes up to 150 kilometers per hour and can have for example multiple stops but on the above side there can be like for example a few stops per 300 kilometers or so so that's the express line so this this can be the difference so we have a lot big variety of, of options and then how the string looks so if you cut the string uh, or sorry the rails then inside there are these pre-stressed string punches as you can see here and uh, then it's filled with special filler and before filling it it's possible to take these tubes to the track structures so we can basically take electricity where it's needed uh, ethernet the fast connection internet uh, to where it's needed and so on so other communications as well so those are all are all our options and then basically it's filled with special filler to to reduce the noise reduction and make it stronger and uh, yes and it works about 150 to 100 years is the is the life uh, span of these tracks oh here it is 2019 when i had the chance to go to ecofest uh, in marina korka that's located in belarus near minsk where is our first certification and um, demonstration center and there are also about uh, 10 different track structures uh, about seven different models are already are already uh, certified also track structures and constant development goes on and it is said by dr antoniski that it's possible that the first commercial so the first commercial project which will start bringing in money as well to the project is made in belarus over one uh, lake there but more about it when the time has come but yes here it is second point it's ecological so as you can see on this slide as well the picture is just so beautiful and uh, just before i describe you that the express line can be on top of the track structure and below there there can be for example with multiple stops uh, needed models or, or the track structure and here this uh, slide describes or this picture describes this situation very well so yes and the, as we know the world or the european european union uh, at least and the world overall actually goes on to the co2 neutral Mm, well missions uh, mission is to go to see a co2 neutral so we do not produce any co2 emissions in the air directly so therefore this slide again describes it perfectly that uh, this basically is a few centuries back made technologies that are not going to be well implemented anymore well, there are some of those uh, those models still existing in the world, but mostly everything is going toward electricity and CO2 neutralization. So yes, that's why Skyway is also one top of, one of the top companies because we are fully working or using fully electricity as energy. And here are these men with a hat they are gold these men with a hat are gold um, pushers and this picture is made in japan where those pushers are hired by the government and the companies to push less people on board so they all could fit or at least as many people as possible could fit on the trains um, but it's well in my mind it's it's not normal at all but of course if you live in in bigger cities in europe then you know that uh, 
the during the rush hours the crowd can be crazy and there are a lot of people but with skyway as i mentioned you before and in the beginning as well we have these depot areas where these models can hibernate or be in hibernating hibernating mode uh, when there is no rush hour time but when the rush hour arrives those models will basically wake up and come to the track structure and start serving people so after each 30 seconds to one minute there can be new skyway model which takes new people on board and goes on so we do not have to wait so long as these people here do because when they do not get on board even with the help of uh, these pushers so they have to wait about 10 minutes to for, for new for new train to arrive so therefore with skyway it's possible to increase the flow of people much more so even more than with uh, metros or with subways today so that's another great example of our technology yes and then the, the situation with well, what we have today is that um, most of the people who get their driver's license also get the chance to or have the chance to buy a car and therefore the number of cars in the traffic constantly increases and creates new well challenges and these challenges first they can be addressed by widening the roads for example or building um, multi-level roads but Today in developed countries we have used all these or, or most of the solutions we have these subways under underneath of us underneath the ground then we have this perfect first level infrastructures we have all these tramways well normal roads of course tramways pedestrian roads bike roads uh, we have these electrical cars scooters all these different models but new challenges constantly arise so therefore I, in my eye, and many other people, we, well, we understand that and we see that the only logical next solution is to go to the second level because there is, at the moment, I, I believe there is less than 1%. Uh, the second level, well, possible track structures or, well, how can you see the road structures and the road tunnels, less than 1% is used today because, well, as you have seen, I believe that. Uh, in most of the bigger cities, there are no no infrastructure for second level, which is already built or made. There are only some cable car well, routes, which are usually less than one kilometer long and made for touristic attractions. Then we have, of course, monorail in, in some of the cities. And we have some technologies in China and in Germany, and but those are only just short, brief uh, road structures. And therefore, there we can say today that there is no great uh, road structure or infrastructure yet made for second level. Mm, yes, and that has to be made. And what is uh, what makes it so efficient and eco-friendly with Skyway is that we have this, well, the wind resistance is taken to minimum because of the shape of the body. As you can see on the slide as well, the shape of the body is as a bird, as a fast flying bird, and it cuts wind perfectly. And the other another aspect is that we do not have this screen effect. So bas basically the wind can go perfectly underneath our um, model. So and will not cause the road there. There is no asphalt or, or another road structure with, which can cause this screen effect. And therefore, about 10 times less is the wind resistance with Skyway models and therefore hence the, hence, the, hence the energy consumption is much less. Then all these problems which can cause well by the wind or, or which can be caused by the wind or, 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 or another climate conditions with Skyway we do not have these uh, problems. Big, big winds do not harm us. Uh, even earthquakes up to some magnitudes, I, I believe it was six magnitudes, want to harm to our road uh, structures. And even if one support or two supports, uh, something happens to them, then the other supports of the road structure will hold the structure still above 
So that's also great, great to understand. Here you can see these are just beautiful, magnificent uh, pieces of archery. Yes. And when we today, when we will plan new roads, for example, train tracks, uh, normal train tracks, um, on the left side there, it's described basically when we want to construct a new, for example, 100 kilometers of, of uh, trainway, then we have to dig at first, at first we have to dig about seven meters below the ground and fill it with special filler and then we can place the track structure above it so it could be strong. But we have to clear the path from start to the end. So all the forests, houses and so on. And then we have to construct or build fences which will protect the territory. Then there has to be asphalt road from the beginning to the end for maintenance and so on. So a lot of resources goes there. And I'm not even going to start talking about the explosive, explosive which are used to, well, blow up mountains to construct new train uh, tracks there. That's also enormous amount of uh, resources. But with Skyway, we can take it directly from one point to another. We can uh, lift it up as as high as 100 meters. So there basically are no um, obstacles to to do it. Yes, and over the rivers, over the seas, um, also no obstacles. Everything has been well uh, thought of and and uh, and planned and the engineers are constantly working on new solutions to make it even more better and so on but soon we, we should see as i mentioned that uh, at the beginning as well we should see in the belarus the first commercial track which goes actually over the lake now the third point is safety And the main reasons why Skyway is about 90 and more percent safer than all the other technologies today that we use on the first level is that we are located above the first level infrastructure. So we won't collide with mm, cars, for example, or with buses and so on. So therefore, it makes it much more safer. Yes. But what is more, we have this automated intelligence system integrated. So basically, we constantly screen the surrounding. If any obstacle should come on the way, the models will stop immediately. And that has been tested as well. And you can see it in your back offices. If you go back uh, on the news line, uh, Dr. Antonio Niski tested this automated intelligence system and, and uh, showed us how it works. So it works brilliantly. Then if anything should happen on the track structure with, for example, with our uh, motor wheels or with our engine uh, batteries, for example, then we have, as I also uh, kind of, uh, well, hence before to you that, that we, if there is a rush hour, we will have multiple same or similar models on the track structure serving people. And if anything happens with the, with one of the, them, then the other one comes and they have these elements in the end and in the backside, which will connect with each other and either lift or pull to the station. The, uh, the well, for example, the broken one or, or the one which need maintenance. So therefore, this is one solution. And if that doesn't work or the, well, there are no models, there are only a few models on specific uh, road structures on, or the distances are very, uh, long, so it, it it would take a lot of time for the other another model to come. Then we have these uh, straps in and the this system inside each of our cabins. So basically, we can pull the straps around our waist, around our shoulders, and lift us down. So that was also tested um, in the video by this man, which you can see here on the slide, and it. He did it perfectly so the landing is soft and so on so everything everybody would be very safe much safer than on this slide i should think <laughs> yes but uh, all right the fourth point is that uh, this one will be our last uh, last uh, 
this will be our last point today and the next webinar we will talk about the last two points uh, as well about why Skyway. So four point is that we have our own models and products. So basically there are Uniwin, Unibike, Unicars. We have all these models. Many of them are already certified and, um, and already in test mode. And we can see them both in Belarus and in Marine, uh, in Sarcha. And, uh, and soon, oh, and one of the news I forgot to say you earlier is that this year there will be EcoFest 2023. So that means that we have this chance to go to uh, Sarja in United Arab Emirates to see this all with our own eyes and experience as well. So whenever this comes, uh, bear that in mind, uh, to buy your ticket and we can all go there. So that's a great news. Here are some pictures which I made myself during the EcoFist. And then we have these models for sea containers, uh, for different um, other materials to transport. So we have everything basically already constructed, just needs much developing and certifications and so on. So as you can see here as well. But all right, we have come to an end with our today's webinar. And in the end, I always like to show this picture where Dalai Lama gave his blessings to Unitsky and to Skyway and said this project is really needed and, uh, and this will be successful. It won't be an easy path that you have chosen, he said to Dr. Anton Unitsky, but also added that eventually you will be successful. So. Everybody, thank you for coming and I wish you all, all a, a lovely evening and, uh, and great end of the week. And of course, a lot of success and health. And let's share this news and let's share this project because it's really an amazing project. And uh, see you again already in two weeks on 23rd of February, 6 p.m. Uh, GMT time so just check what the, what time zone it is in your in your country but all right goodbye everybody and see you soon